Those of you who don't follow along with everything David Barton does as closely as we do may have missed the news this week that he delivered a sermon, like all respectable historians are so often want to do, at Calvary Chapel, Salt Lake in Utah. And while I can't recommend anyone actually exposing their ear holes to the entire thing, one moment was definitely inspiring. He claims to have been invited to a debate by the American Atheist Association, which doesn't exist, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he meant American atheists. And Davey was willing to do the debate, but he had some conditions. Based on the fact that 92% of the country believes in God, he would only agree to the debate if he got 92% of the speaking time. Because, quote, that's the way policy works in America, is the majority gets to rule, end quote. It's not how it works in historians, of course. Anyway, <laughs> so we decided to plug David's new rules into the scathing atheist Hypothizer Tron 2000, and this was the result. Wonderful. Mr. Barton, your 92 minutes is up. Mr. Enright, you have eight minutes as specified by the rules. Your time begins now. All right, cool. Um, Everybody take out your phones. Good, great. Uh, go ahead and Google Anything he just said, literally anything. Google it. Huh. Yeah. Hey, Thomas Jefferson wasn't in the Super Friends with Jesus. No, no, he was not. Yeah, the vagina was not invented in the 60s by Gloria Steinem. No, yeah. mm-hmm. no, yep, yep, good. Um, That's because, and let me be clear, David Barton is a tiny man with no knowledge or interest. He is a liar, a boring, wrong, stupid liar, and not worth hearing or listening to. Um, y- you have, you have six minutes left. Oh, uh, okay, uh, everybody heads down, thumbs up. Yay! Yay! That's a fun game. 